This video is just going to be an excerpt from a larger tutorial video I made where I built a full stack image gallery using React.js, Node.js, Express, and MAMP. If you'd like to check out that video, there is a link in the description below. With that said, in this video, we're just going to use a JavaScript library called MySQL. We're going to import that into the project I was working on, and we're going to connect to and influence our database. That database, again, was a MySQL database using MAMP. If you want to know how to set that up, there is another link in the description below to that video. If you're here just for how do I connect to the database, how do I run statements to influence the database, then uh, stay tuned. We're going to need a MySQL connection. So MySQL is equals, or the package, so MySQL. We're also going to need the moment. This is going to let us handle the uh, the date modified and date created stuff. Real, uh, real simple moment like that. So we're going to create a connection pool. We can go one connection at a time, but then we'd have to wait for the connection to close to the database and then send another connection. With a connection pool, we can have one user sending multiple uh, connections to the database simultaneously. So we're just going to say const pool is equal to mysql. Dot, it's create, there we go, create pool. And it's an object that takes a bunch of parameters or properties. The first one will say connection limit, not timeout, connection limit. And we'll say 10 per person. And then we'll do the host, which is localhost, of course, localhost. And that's operating on port. Now your PHP tools are operating on port 8888. Your server, your database is not operating on the same port. It's actually, so this guy right here that lets you monitor your database, that's port 8888 right up here. But the the, uh, the database is operating on a different port. And that port is right up here. So localhost 8889. So this guy's 8889. And then we have the username. I made mine React JS, and the password is password. Don't ever do that. Password. And then we have the database we're connecting to. And that was the React JS gallery. All right, so we have the connection pool. Let's do the upload image route first. So we're going to need a new connection to the database, which is the pool. We're going to say get connection. Now, if we don't get it, we're going to get an error. If we do get it, we're going to get the actual connection. So if we get an error, we're just going to throw the error. So if error, then we're going to throw new error. And we're going to say problem connecting to database like that. But if we get the actual connection, then we'll respond properly. All right. So we're going to craft the SQL statement right now. So we're going to use an insert statement. We're going to do it in three variables, and I'll tell you why in a second. So we're going to have the actual statement. And that's going to be a string. I'll just double quote. We're going to have the values associated with that statement. Again, I'll tell you exactly why we're doing this. And then we're going to have the actual statement, the query. And we're going to say null for now. So the statement is going to be, it's going to be insert into the table is images. And we're going to have all of the values of the images or the, in the field. So let's do here, all of these guys here. And again, we're not using the file column because we're saving the image on the hard drive. So we're going to mimic these guys here. So we're going to need an ID to insert an ID. That's going to be auto-generated, so we're not going to actually insert an actual value. I'll show you in a second. We're going to insert an author. Get more room there. An author like that. We need the file name. Yes, we do. File name. We need the directory. Of course we do. And that was the constant we just set up, directory. And then we need the file. No, we don't. We need date uploaded like this. And then we need date modified. Date modified. All right. And then we get the values. This is just an SQL statement. So insert into images, these columns, and then these values. The first value for ID, we don't enter one. If we entered one, it would break because it's an auto increment. So we enter null. Null is a type, uh, SQL type. So it understands when you insert null that it's going to auto generate. All right, so we got null, and then we have one author file and directory date uploaded and date modified which are five one two three four five values that we need to account for so we're going to put placeholders like this one two three four and then five and that's the end of our sql statement now we need to enter the values in this array and then this query marries this query right here it marries the values and the statement for a reason i'll get to it in a second 
And so for the author, we're going to set these guys up here. This is our author. This is our file name. So values. So the first item in our values array syncs up with the first question mark here. And that first question mark here syncs up with this author field here. So the author is going to be author. The file name is going to be file underscore name. Directory is going to be that constant we set. The date uploaded, that's what I forgot to do. So date uploaded and date modified. That's why we have the, uh, the moment package. So we're just going to say current date is equal to moment. And we're going to say format. And we're going to take year. We're going to say month. We're going to say day, hour, minute, second. There we go. And so that's going to be our fourth and our fifth values. Current date, current date. Now with this query, we're going to do mysql.format and we're going to format the statement with the values. Now, why are we doing this? And why are we not just entering these values even as like a string or a template literal string, string or template literals? We could have done like uh, insert into and then go images, images like that. And then we can go, I'll just, I'll put one column right here for now. We say author, and then we can go values. And then instead of having these values in a separate array, we can just do something like the author would be the author like that. Why aren't we doing this? And why are we, why are we instead doing this format stuff? Well, this line right here, this line 48, it doesn't check whether or not the author is a valid author. And what I mean by valid author, I mean, what if someone hijacked your user's uh, account? And instead of putting a legitimate author, we're assuming they put like, I don't know, like Sandy or whatever, right? What if they put something like this for the author? Delete star from uh, table images like this. If we don't check that what they're sending in for their variables is an SQL, this SQL statement would run on the back end database. This is what we call SQL injections. And so what we need to do, what SQL, this package lets us do, is by separating the statement and the values, and then using their format method. This method checks whether or not these values are SQL statements, and if it does, if they are, it rejects the uh, the query. It gives you back an error, or I don't know what it does. I think it just throws an error. And so this this uh, does what we call sanitizing the string. Make sure, make sure no one's sending uh, bad data or bad values to your database. And so that's why we're separating the statement values. We're calling the specific mysql.format to check whether or not the values are are valid non-SQL statements. All right, so we have the actual query. Now we need to send that query to the back end with the connection that we got from the pool right here. So we do that with a, I think it was connection.query. So we're sending the query and that'll give us an error or that'll give us a result. All right, why is it doing this? Uh, delete that, perfect. All right, so if we get an error, the arrow error. We can throw that error. We'll go throw new error. And we'll just say problem inserting a new record. There we go. And dot, dot, dot. All right. If there's no problem, no error, then we know we've inserted it successfully. And then we can just send back a proper uh, successful post JSON message to the front end. And so after we've queried the actual connection, we've sent the query to the connection and we know whether or not it succeeded or failed. It doesn't matter if it succeeds or failed, you need to close that connection. So you do connection.release like this. So let's test this guy out. All right, so let's go to the upload route, slash upload. Let's choose a file, let's say tequila. The author is gonna be me, yeah, whatever, me. All right, so we upload the image. We get a message, message successful post. We get on our server right here, we get the post. We know we triggered the upload image 200. Well, we get the status code 200. The image is right here, tequila on the left. So it's saved successfully to the hard drive. And now let's check if it inserted the record into the database. So go here and we just hit a refresh. And there we go. There's the, the record. This will be insert a new record? No, this will be get images associated with author variable. So problem connecting database, that's okay. Current date, will we need? No, the statement's going to be different though. It's going to be 
we're going to select all images. So let's do, what's the name of the images? File name it is. So we're going to select file name from and the table is images where author, A-U-T-H-O-R, is equal to placeholder. And then in the array, all we need is the author, like that. We format, we get it back. I'm not sure how the results, what they look like. So we'll just log it out and we'll see. So result, console, console log result. So let's say file name like that. It looks like an array. Array like zero and then file name. Let's refresh. Yeah, so it's an array of objects with file names in them. And so that's going to be it for this video, guys. If it gave you any sort of help, don't forget to give a like. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Any comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.